Now we are going to start with a unit that is the universe. As you are familiar with the all celestial bodies which appear in the universe like uh, you all are familiar with the sun, the moon, the planets. These, uh, these bodies are actually known since the uh, you can say to a, uh, to a mankind since the existence of life. In ancient time people used to consider these things the sun, the moon, the planets and many other bodies which appear. Uh, they considered them as gods or, and the spirits. But with gained knowledge about the like uh, like as you know that with modernization the people gained much knowledge so due to increased knowledge and due to uh, you can say a lot of people who are working on the uh, on the scientific issue they have actually uh, led to many conclusions leading to the uh, like related to the universe they have known the, like they have discovered many theories uh, which actually prove that how the bodies uh, came in the universe and what are the functions of those bodies. So actually uh, you know that there are many people who are still working on this project. So the people who actually deal with the study of the uh, these heavenly bodies they are called as astronomers. They are called as astronomers. And the branch of science that deals with the study of these heavenly bodies, the science is called as astronomy. So actually we can conclude now that if, if somebody uh, says universe, then what does it specify actually? As you can clearly see in the picture that universe looks like this, it actually consists of many heavenly bodies that exist. So we can say that universe is the vast surrounding space which includes everything which includes everything that means the earth also and the things which we can which, which are actually visible to us uh, uh, like they are not close to us they are far but still we can see them so those all things are uh, you can say they all constitute the universe as you can see this this is a complete universe which consists of so many heavenly bodies so many celestial bodies which exist in the universe so we are going to study here about all the celestial bodies like st uh, these stars the planets, the different planets which, uh, which are present in a solar system. Moreover, the meteors, the meteorites, the asteroids, the satellites. So we are going to study everything in detail. So this is a basic introduction that what is a universe. So I think you got it. That universe is a vast surrounding space which includes everything that we, that we can see. Like when we are standing on earth, we can see that. And we can actually visualize it from uh, like many other things from that. So this is all about the universe. And the people who are uh, the volunteers who are actually uh, making us uh, aware about uh, all the heavenly bodies that exist, they are called, those people are called as astronomers and the science that deals with it is called as astronomy, right? So we are going to start with another uh, details in the, like about the heavenly bodies.